विच वन इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर टू डिफरेंट थर्मोडाइनमिक प्रोसेसेस राइट ना सी हेयर ऑल द प्रोसेस आर गिवन आइसोथर्मल एडिवेट अच्छा ओनली टू प्रोसेस आर गिवन आइसोथर्मल एंड एडिवेटिक सो इन केस ऑफ आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस we know that temperature is constant and in case of adiabatic process in case of adiabatic process q is a constant right now see a uh, check for all the options in option a for isothermal process this is the curve right so this is pressure is acha what is the process equation for isothermal process p is inversely proportional to v and for process equation for adiabatic process is p into v to the power gamma is equal to constant so in process number uh, in option number a in diagram number a p is inversely proportional to v so this is isothermal process is a correct one but see here volume is constant so it can't be adiabatic process it is a isochoric process so this is a incorrect one ऑप्शन डायग्राम नंबर डायग्राम बी इन दिस डायग्राम सी फॉर आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस दे हैव गिवन प्रेशर कांस्टेंट मींस दिस इज अ इनकरेक्ट वन बिकॉज प्रेशर कांस्टेंट मींस इट इज आइसोबेरिक प्रोसेस सो ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन बी बोथ आर इनकरेक्ट नाउ इन ऑप्शन सी एंड ऑप्शन डी सी हियर वी हैव फॉर आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस वी हैव टेंपरेचर कांस्टेंट सो दिस इज करेक्ट वन इन ऑप्शन डी आल्सो दिस इज आइसोथर्मल टेंपरेचर कांस्टेंट सो बोथ आर करेक्ट now let's check for adiabatic as it is a volume versus temperature graph in case of option c volume versus temperature graph is given for adiabatic now we know that for adiabatic pressure into volume to the power gamma is equal to constant now from ideal gas equation we can write pv is equal to nrt so p is equal to nrt divided by v so this can be written as nrt divided by v into v to the power gamma is equal to constant so temperature into volume to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to constant right so temperature is inversely proportional to volume to the power gamma minus 1 so as temperature increases volume decreases so this is also correct one so option c both graphs are matching so option c is a correct one now look let's look for option d now here it is pressure versus temperature graph now we have again for adiabatic process pressure into volume to the power gamma is equal to constant so from ideal gas equation we can write pv is equal to nrt convert this volume into temperature that will be nrt by p so p into nrt divided by p to the power gamma is equal to constant so this will be p to the power 1 minus gamma into t to the power gamma is equal to constant so p to the power 1 minus gamma is inversely proportional to t to the power gamma p to the power 1 minus gamma is inversely proportional to am i correct let's check check hmm p to the power 1 minus gamma is inversely proportional to t to the power gamma i think there is a mistake here wait for a minute v is equal to nrt by p nrt so this will be p to the power 1 minus gamma t to the power gamma yes 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 it's it's good okay we can write like this p to the power gamma minus 1 is directly proportional to t to the power gamma right means as the temperature increases pressure also increases so again this is a curve for adiabatic process as the temperature increases process increases so option d is also correct one so graph number c and graph number d both are correct means option b is a correct one right